Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial video. My name is Cell, and you're welcome to this amazing episode, the very first video for 2022. Now, um, for those of you who have been following us from 2021, I just want to thank all of you for your support, for your views on our videos. Um, this year is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be going all out with our tutorial videos because we have a backlog of videos that we want to make. So if you're new to the channel, um, kindly subscribe if you are old and you've never subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel and um, Shexel is here to support safety professionals around the world with unique health and safety templates made of Microsoft Excel to enhance your job performance so for those of you who don't know Shexel at Shexel we develop working tools using Microsoft Excel and this is where you find all the list of tools by just clicking on any of them you'll be directed to the product specific page where you can view all the pictures and read some insightful description of the product everything you need to know to make an informed decision and then drill down further by clicking on the download button to be directed to the product page where you can actually watch some videos now this year we want to make a lot of videos on all the amazing templates that we've got so stay tuned if you've not subscribed quickly subscribe now because we want to grow our audience we want to put ourselves in this channel so you're welcome guys so without further ado let's get straight into the video now today's you know video we're going to be looking at two important template for managing chemicals at the workplace now this is shexel chem 2 and then shexel chem 2 plus all right now so let's go first to the chem 2 now the chem 2 is simply a name that we've used to describe our template because our templates are very unique however this template is literally a chemical register all right so what is a chemical register? This is like a, 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 a template that you use to record a list of chemicals at the workplace together with, their, with information from the safety data sheets to understand the hazard information about these chemicals, the risk that they pose, where they are located, and the importance of ensuring effective safety controls. All right, so safety control can range, can range from all the preventive measures that you put in place to prevent personal exposure to the chemicals and all the protective measures that you put in place to minimize the effect following any personal exposure on personnel. All right, so this template is simply a register, but it comprises of some unique features because our templates are always unique. So we have a user guide that actually provides you all the important information about you know how to use this template, I know step-by-step -step process of how to use this template and the fact that we are using you know a risk matrix for some initial risk assessment. Because it's very important that the chemicals that are used at the workplace you have a brief understanding of the risk that they pose and based on your workplace controls you can equally justify that you know this chemical poses a high risk to personnel or a low risk to personnel based on the available the adequacy of existing control so this is a chemical register to start using this template that's very simple simply provide the name of the chemical and the manufacturer all right so that is can already be found from the safety data sheet so it can be found in section one, which is identification of product and supply. And then again, provide the quantity of the chemical where it is located and based on the information from the safety data sheet, you need to now populate all this information. Now it is always important that all chemicals have safety data sheets because safety data sheets is important in, you know, in hazard communication. And as per the globally harmonized system for chemical classification and labeling, it actually requires that employers must share adequate information on chemicals using labels and the safety data sheets, which has already been standardized according to the GHS. So with that in mind, you would have to ensure that they are available. If it's not available, you need to make sure you follow up and make sure chemicals that are at the workplace all have safety data sheets. And as per best practice, safety data sheets must not be more than five years from the date of issue. All right. Now the hazard information of chemicals must be current so that it can provide adequate, adequate you know, information to people for them to ensure that the protections and the, you know, the measures or the control measures are all in place. 
Now you need to find out whether the chemical is hazardous or non-hazardous based on information from a safety data sheet. And of course, if it is hazardous, you can tell the dangerous, you should need to provide any information as to whether it is a dangerous good or not that can equally be found in the safety data sheets. And most importantly, you will need to provide the dangerous good class of the chemical. So we have about 14 classes of chemicals. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 classes of chemicals and all of them will populate as you select them, of course. So if it's a dangerous goods, then you have this open up for you to make your entries. So you need to provide whether it's a flammable gas, whether it's a non-flammable, whether it's a toxic gas, whether it's a flammable liquid as per the dangerous good class, all right? And then also based on information from the safety data sheet, we can know whether the packaging, you know, group of the chemical, and then if there's any residual risk that you want to provide. Now, it is always important that you do a bit of risk analysis on the chemicals at the workplaces, initial risk assessment, so to speak, where you know the consequence of the chemical from any exposure depending on the type of chemical it is for instance if it's a corrosive chemical you know that any personal exposure can actually you know be very severe so that's why there is a severe impact and the likelihood the likelihood will be based on your workplace controls what is the likelihood that it's going to be personal exposure you do that and then that will determine the risk rating and then based on the risk rating you can tell and um, the safe work, whether safe work practice is required or not required. And most importantly, whether you need to do a more in-depth risk assessment, which is cost assessment. And then you then indicate whether it has been closed or not. So this is a very important tool. It helps you to have a full overview of chemicals at the workplace, the risk that they pose, the hazard classification of the chemical, and the level of risk, all right, based on the adequacy of existing controls and the fact that cost assessments have been carried out for them. All right, now again, this must be kept at a central location where a, a person responsible or an area responsible have can actually use that for induction purposes, use that to control access to certain areas at the workplace. Now, once you keep populating all these details, especially um you know, the hazardous ones, you realize that they get transferred onto a dangerous goods table over here where right from, you know, the hazard class from one all the way to nine will be populated automatically. So you can tell the quantity of chemicals that needs labeling, placarding, placarding required. Placard is like a, a big label that you paste on a chemical, especially when it's being transported, you put a placard on it. These are the hazard symbols very big one and then again if a manifest is required or if a fire protection is required for those of you wondering what a manifest is that's a summary of information about your workplace the location of hazardous substances that exceed a certain threshold which must be communicated to an enforcement authority in order for them to exert a much more you know stricter control and again, that is important for emergency response purpose because emergency services would want to know the quantity of those as other substances, the class of those substances, in order for them to deploy the right fire extinguishing agents should there be any incidents. So this is um, a very good template to use in managing chemicals at the workplace. Now, it is always important to know it all. If you don't know it, definitely you can't. You can't um, control it so it's always important that you're aware all right so this is for chem tool now for those of you who have inventory of chemicals you have a large inventory and you actually you are looking to manage the inventory of these chemicals you can use this tool so there's a chem tool plus so that's in addition to chemical register and dangerous goods table we have a stock monitoring tool all right so this follows a very unique unique approach so we have like the chem to we have the hazard we have the guideline in here and instructions to follow and of course we have a table of content that can help to navigate and then you begin by listing all your chemicals at the workplace and you can choose to set three other levels for them so we other level is the level below which you want to make sure you are restocking so 
it's going to prompt you once you go below the real level and you start alerting uh, procurement to start making arrangements to procure those chemicals. Now, the most important feature for this Chem 2 Plus is stock monitoring sheet. So this is where you begin by selecting from the drop down the chemicals that you've provided on the approved list. And you, you provide a brief details of the chemicals, all right, in terms of use, the purpose of, you know, the stock movement. You're actually about using it and you need to provide details. So stock was received and uh, you provide accordingly if um, stock has been rather used, you provide accordingly and the quantity remaining automatically updates as you select the chemical and you can tell the stock the stock status of the chemical as to whether it is in stock or it has reached the other level or it is, it is out of stock and then the end use now most importantly after you are done as you use the stock monitoring tool you need to also use a chemical register because you want to make sure that we are not losing sight of health and safety and then again we have the dangerous goods table so this way all the information you provide on the register get transferred and categorized according to the class of goods it is or class of chemical and whether placarding is required or manifest is required in transportation of and fire protection is required all right and then again based on the information we provide in the stock monitoring you have the stock position in here where you can tell at a glance the stock you know position of each chemical you simply select it and it's going to populate the quantity received till date quantity used till date and quantity remaining till date All right and then again based on the quantity remaining till date you can do your invent you can do a physical count of the chemical you know to determine the actual stock remaining and be able to establish if there's any variance so this is a full inventory management system for chemicals at the end of the day you have you know tables and graphs that shows exact stock you know reports so there's a quantity remaining versus quantity used you can see as the red increases it clearly means we are running out of stock and then again we have quantity used per month so you can tell the trend of the chart you can see we are using chemicals we use a lot in March and then again we have quantity remaining per product so every product that we have on the register or in the stock monitoring you're able to tell you know the quantity that is remaining and of course we also have the variance so the variance gets you know transferred here in a table and you can actually use these tables and graphs for your internal reporting so this is a very unique template for managing chemicals or the workplace, you know, managing inventory as well, what without losing sight of health and safety requirements as far as chemicals are concerned, which is you need to make sure you have a comprehensive up-to-date chemical register that is kept at a central location, you know, to be used for making informed decisions about workplace controls, the importance of label and you know, safety data should be in the location. So that is hazard communication. And most importantly, the fact that you want to ensure that the preventive virus are in place, protective virus are in place based on the information from the chemicals and the level of risk that they pose. All right. So if you are interested in this template, simply click on the link below. You can always contact Cell to have a meeting over this. Remember, we perform customization. So if you want our template customized, you have no problem at all. We can always customize for you so if you want to reach us always come to the front end of our website you can contact us directly via the live chat all right you can also book a meeting over here just click on it you'll be directed to the page where you can book your date and time for the meeting all right so just taking some time so you can simply click on the date that you want us to meet, set your time, confirm, provide the name and email address, provide the agenda for the meeting, and simply schedule it. We'll all be notified um, to be available for the meeting where we and then discuss all your concerns. All right. So thanks guys for um, watching and thank you. Have a great day. Bye for now.